Good afternoon all you corn fed cowboys and cowgirls. Today we're talking about shooting a rifle from the prone position. If you're a newer shooter this should be a good video for you and if you're an experienced shooter hopefully there's one or two things you can pick up that you might be able to try out. Who knows you have to find out for yourself. So step number one pick yourself up a shooting mat. It's uh, optional you can lay in the dirt if you want but they're pretty cheap to buy. You can make one yourself. You can steal your mom's yoga mat. This one was gifted to me by a friend and it was handmade. It's got some uh, rubber grippies on it and it's nice and padded so it gives you a little cushion between yourself and the rocks on the ground. So step number two, set the rifle up. You're going to want a front support and a rear support on the rifle. My rear support is going to be a bag. My front support is going to be a bipod. You can use another bag for the front or a backpack. If you don't set up behind the rifle properly, it's going to be really hard to see your hits on target because your gun's going to be kicking all over the place. So luckily, it's real easy. All you got to do is line your entire body straight up with the gun and get your feet out nice and wide and then give your gun a little push forward to load the bipod. So here we are behind it and then all I'm going to do is just scoot an inch forward and put a little bit of pressure on that front bipod. You don't want to be having your toes up like this. That's not very stable at all. You want them out wide and flat and you definitely don't want to be cocked sideways. I like to set my gun up as low to the ground as possible when I'm doing the setup. If you have the bipod fully extended and a big bag on the back, you end up having to arch your back up like a seal and it just causes a bunch of stress on the muscles that you don't really want. So set the gun down low. Now when it comes time to put your hands on the rifle, I use my left hand to squeeze the bag. It lifts the back end of the rifle up and down to keep me on target. My front hand, I keep my thumb on the same side as my trigger finger so I don't exert any unnecessary force sideways on the rifle. The only force I want to have is me pulling that trigger back with the pad of my finger. So what I do when I shoot is I take a couple breaths and then I do a deep inhale. I breathe out till I've got about 25% air left. That feels like my respiratory pause. And then I slowly squeeze the trigger to the rear position and hold it there. Release once I see the shot. Okay, let's do with some live ammo and see how we do. So I'm set up behind the rifle. Got the target, squeeze the bag a little bit. Drive my cheek in. Couple breaths. Nice. See how we do on another one. One more. She's swinging. Just like that. So when you pull the trigger, you definitely want to slowly squeeze it and hold it back. A lot of guys I see, they'll find their paws, see where it stops, and they'll jerk it. If you got anything else to add, drop them in the comments. If you liked the video, like it. If you disliked it, send me a death threat or something, I don't know. But uh, thanks for coming by. I'm gonna roast some weenies and call her a night. 